Well, it's a long ways from rainproof, but at least the structure is built. Over time, we're going to cover all of these walls with more spruce and pine boughs and eventually make it completely rain resistant and snow resistant. We've got a few other ideas that we're going to add on and build later, like a door and a firewall and a few things inside, but that'll be videos down the road. I just want to make a, two points. One, the reason we're cutting down these trees, watch video number two, where the owner of this property explains why we're thinning out this forest. And uh, hopefully that'll give you a, a bit better feeling about why we're harvesting and cutting down so many trees just for a simple shelter. I wouldn't recommend this in any other circumstance. Number two, uh, everything that we use to build this is natural material from the forest. So all the lashing, um, everything is just the trees that are here. So there is no nails or wire or cordage or anything like that. So when this rots, it'll all just be part of nature again. So until next Timber Tuesday, be nice people and be nice to our earth. We got a gun today. I didn't know if we would there for a bit. Oh, I think we're trying to insulate it. I'm like, <laughs> I think it's warm. The boss no, says we still got to insulate it. it. He's right. But then had this whole thing, uh, like a big raised bed. We could easily sleep like four in here. Oh yeah, easily. I'm glad we didn't make it any bigger. Yeah, it's a perfect size. Yeah. Still room to put your bags and everything.